So we're going to go to the first article right now with KitGrew.net, who has confirmed that the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members are now going to be able to stream 16 original Xbox and 360 games. This is just the first wave of backwards compatible titles on the X Cloud for it's mostly for testing purposes, with more of the Game Pass backwards compatibility library set to, sh- to get streaming support in the future. So for those of you who don't know, this is uh, a cell phone gaming PC and iOS stuff for like streaming these games. So these are a couple of the stuff on the list, such as Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Fable 2, Fallout New Vegas, Gears of War series, uh, Cameo, Perfect Dark, Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, and Morrowind, and Viva Pinata. So the these. Fuck is Viva Pinata? Why does that sound familiar? We've played that game. I know we have. In the show, uh, when I was younger. They have gone on to say that the game preservation is important and that their aim with the service as well is, uh, you know, that their aim is for game preservation as well as, you know, obviously everybody's enjoyment to try to play all of these games and stuff like that. So what are you guys thoughts on, because we talked about a little bit on it on Thursday about video game preservation and stuff. So now that this topic comes up, this is a little bit more of an opportunity to talk more about, uh, I guess a way to do game preservation, which is like Danny called it uh, before with Nintendo, like vaulting stuff. Like I guess this is another method of it is just allowing you to stream these old games and stuff. What do you guys think of that? I told you, that's what I think. What the fuck is Viva Pinata? I'm just trying to figure that out. Hold on, <laughs> look it up. So I'm you... looking at a video and I'm very disturbed of what I'm watching. So. <laughs> Why we want to preserve this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> For the kids. <laughs> well, aside from the Viva Pinata, uh, Kevin, what do you think about the whole, just the whole idea in general? Because they're obviously going to add more games. Uh, obviously, I've seen I've seen this uh, done before, and I'm actually glad that they're doing it. Uh, but it's it's like Danny called, like his foresight, his shot and gun, whatever you want to call it, the uh, inner eye, his third eye saw this coming a mile away, and I feel like they they do this a lot often. But we just like we I guess we bitch and moan because it's like, oh, they're taking the service off and we don't know if they're gonna bring it back and even if they don't, like the service is out there. But yeah, I like I like the idea that it's preserving a lot of um older games. Like uh I honestly don't care for Viva Pinata, but I'm I'm glad that but I'm glad I see it there because it's like uh <laughs> it was like a, a staple for like the uh Xbox 360 is like one of the first games that came out for it. So yeah. I'm glad that they're they're preserving that. Um that type of content. I just want to see the grab them by the ghoulies. Once they have grab them by the ghoulies, yeah. uh, by then I, I, I'm 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 stuck. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm getting that offer in. So that's your game that you're waiting for. What about you, Randy? Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? And I guess um, if there are any games that you wanted added on there. Um, honestly, I'm just like excited for Benji Kazooie, but it's it's pretty cool that they're like so. Obviously, phones are getting more and more advanced. You know. So a lot of games that we were playing back then, with that being able to like be streamed on on a phone, it, that's pretty interesting. Did you fucking see Fallout New Vegas there and fucking Gears Three? So it's like, whoa, okay. So it's not just older games; they're kind of rinky dink looking. Obviously, fucking Cameo and Badger Kazooie, but you know, higher end looking looking games. So honestly, uh, I think that maybe PlayStation should do something similar to that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they it, have PlayStation be, now, isn't that their streaming service? Yeah, but it's yeah. it's mainly for like the computer and and the system itself. But I mean, like for for mobile, you know what oh, I mean? Okay, okay, yeah. Because this could be like a, a stepping stone, if anything, for other uh, you know companies, i.e., fucking Sony, Sony and uh, and Nintendo, to do more of that stuff. Do you guys think that this is a way for cell phones to actually become more of a legit gaming uh, system? No. You could actually say you're a mobile gamer now. <laughs> <laughs> more than just candy crushing. To be, crushing to be taken birds. more seriously? You don't, You guys don't think so? I, I, I personally so. don't. I don't. I, I, oh. I think they're trying to test the test the waters if, if you're really going to play these games on your phone. And then yeah. if you do, you know, will you really put the money? Is it worth it? I think it might be a test platform Mm -hmm. is it worth putting this something that's not a giant cash grab like your every other single phone thing 
where you have to buy 1900 play to win or whatever it is yeah you know so i i, I think there's they can test it see what happens people like it they keep going and it's a way to release the contact from their vault so to speak and make you buy it and now you have it everywhere you go Randy? Yeah, because even if it is just streaming, it's it's still pretty beneficial because uh, if like they're doing with the whole PlayStation thing where they're shutting down the um, the PS3 store, even if there is a whole like market for all these PS3 games that like the price is going to skyrocket, at least the option to stream these old Xbox games is going to be there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't need the physical copy, which could cost you like fucking one fifty just just an example. Instead of like, oh, for X amount a month, you know, like sixteen bucks a month, you could stream all these games. You know, it's just depending on your on your connection. But another thing would be um, with with this coming out, if it does kind of like take off, are they going to have to like put steroids into the phones or some shit? Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be like really intense on the battery consumption. Yeah, battery. Well, they really are. But that's the, but. But if, I don't know if you guys play games on a phone. Now, I mean, I play games like crazy when I take a shit. My shit's left for 45 minutes. That's so, <laughs> but I play games all the time on it, and my phone battery lasts. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah. I think that. Also, that what games do you play? That's the thing. League of Legends, Magic Gathering. You know, yeah. it's an MMO. Mm-hmm. It's an MMOB. You know, it's legit, takes up power. It's decent looking games. They're not like. And. All these games here are run on N64. Stations are really good. There's more power, power and battery in my phone than there is in N64 when they first came out. That's also what I'm saying. That fucking you could stream Gears 3 and uh, and Fallout. Yeah, the, but the old paper mache ones, like yeah, definitely, like that runs just fine. But the yeah. ones that are a bit more demanding, I would say, that might be an issue because Morrowind and Oblivion, that again, paper mache. Uh, Gears yeah. 3, Gears 2, Fallout, and was it Gears of War one? Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones that would be it might be a little more, but I mean, how much power does it really take to uh, to run the process? So how much process are they really going to need? Jay, I want and, Jay Biggs. Jay Biggs mentioned something in the chat here. He he says that uh, you know, not the problem with console uh, games I see on the phones. Chat today? <laughs> the problem with console <laughs> games on phones is the need to have to upgrade your phone every year. Um, if it if, it, yeah, if we're working, exactly what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. If well, what I, what I'm trying to say well, to man. piggyback on that and what Jay Biggs is saying is that I I think where we're at now on phones, they're they're more pow- they're they're powerful enough to play the games. For example, the ones that are listed here. But as we progress towards more and more things that we're backlogging, such as in the future PS5 stuff that we're backlogging, PS4 stuff that we're backlogging, those are the times that we're going to need to upgrade our phones more because they're not going to be able to handle that stuff. And as as Randy said before, the battery power is going to be an issue as well because the consumption is going to be ridiculous. Okay, so I have I have uh, oh, before before you start, Danny, I want to say something. Um, I don't know if you guys even know that this is a service. Well, you probably do if you are on PC, but. Sh- Steam has that, that you can play games on your phone. Mm-hmm. And, like, so I was seeing, like, if they're testing it, why didn't this, like, give Steam time to see that? Like, see the results from that with Steam, like, running, uh, let's say, 76 or, God, God forbid, 76. But 76 or, like, games that are very demanding on mobile devices and see if it if it streams well on phones and everything. Like, I've, I've tried uh, Fighters on it. I've tried... Um, Mortal Kombat. I mean, like I've tried. Um, I even tried a uh, uh, Fallout Three on my phone, and it runs. It runs fine. But like, I'm like, is that something that you want to want to do? You know what I mean? Like, that's. It's more like a how dedicated are you to be like, oh, I'm gonna pay for this service and upgrade my phone if need be. So if if but if, the thing if, is about that concept, the phone, though, hold on. It, what would would it be good that they had cross save play then, so that we can carry over your game from one yeah. system to the other? I would rather I would prefer cross play. I mean cross save than you buy the service and then you have to start your progress all over again. Yeah. Like like uh Apex is doing this uh they're trying to get the I guess the data and everything to or the the the, the things to be able to have cross save via platforms because yeah. uh on Apex I'm like level 3 and on like PlayStation I'm like, I think I'm like 40 something. But I don't know. It, it it comes with time. I would I would give it like I wouldn't say now. I like that they're making the move, but like again, it's like one of those things that it's like it's not going to work out well in the beginning. I'm glad that they're doing it, but it's it all depends on the titles that they pick. Personally, for me, it's just titles. 
um yeah. that they pick and also if the service is going to be worth paying for because i don't want to jump into something and then be like oh it's good and dandy and then it runs like you know like bad especially streaming wise because that's something that i have an issue with streaming a game to a, a mobile device and then not knowing if the mobile device can run it yeah. at all okay so what i look to, to respond to jay biggs first he says the problem is you have to upgrade your phone every year that's only that's a plus that's not a that's not a problem because that's if your phone though. was just make it we do it anyway like i, I mean i most, still have an s9 s9 plus well, because you're old. I'm sorry. No, old. It, oh, because <laughs> there are a lot of people who don't feel the need to upgrade. I've had the money to upgrade. I just don't care about it. I have everything I need. On my phone. Well, I know. I, like, I, He's gonna buy, like, I like them. phones. I don't know why. I like phones. <laughs> I have two phones. I have a work phone at the, and, a, and a personal phone. And I like to get a newer yeah, phone or better cameras. And same thing for my wife. Saying, like, and some, if of we, these, some of these phones cost rent money. Like the, the S20 is over $1,000. And there's and, and there's ways around it. Like I don't actually pay a thousand dollars every time I get a new get a new phone. Mm-hmm. I mean, my T mobile it goes in twenty bucks or whatever it is into my think my bill every month. You know, it's something that's part of my bill. I don't realize that I'm already paying for it. So if at the end of the contract in two years when it's paid off, why not get a different phone? I'm already I'm already paying for it. You know, and that's how they made their money. That's how they were able to sell phones at a thousand dollars, and that's why there's so much because these contracts are more. It's not like back in the day when we used to buy phones when you had the Nokia phone and you bought a brand new phone and you paid fifty bucks or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I don't like that anymore. You know, they put these large price tags on it, and they're not worth that much. Damn, phones aren't worth a thousand dollars. It's not worth more than. No, I remember we. I... Were you working in T-Mobile also? I know I was working at T-Mobile. No, I, I, you I, worked. I worked at T-Mobile, and yeah, they hiked up the price ridiculous because we used to get yeah. these uh, these discounts where we just paid like cost that the company and, paid and, and plus again, like fifteen percent or something, and it wasn't a lot. No, and even if it's not fine, even if our personal preference, well, you guys' personal preference is not to buy a new phone every year, there are a lot of people who do, and that's why. Apple is so popular, Samsung sure. is so popular, like things those... like that. So if those people are already buying a new phone every year, every two years, no matter what, then what is what does it matter? We're, we're and talking, the game, it's not like you lose gamers, the game. Though. We're, we're not talking about like phone aficionados and people who are like using their phones for well, specific uh, things. We're talking about specific your average, gamers. Your average, your average gamer, your average gamer is a tech person, you know. No, no, yeah. So no, if the average get, person and the tech that. person turns together, they're going to want, they like and have So you have to buy a technology. new phone and a new game. And then more games, and then more games, and then more games, and then another new phone within another year or two. Kevin, sorry, Kevin, go ahead. You, you want to say something? No, that that's like the same as buying a new P, a new PlayStation and then having to buy a new PlayStation to then buy another game. You know, that's like, that's like the same argument, I feel. Like, just to upgrade, like, to get like, oh, my game's not running fast. I get like a PlayStation Slim or a Pro. It's like the same concept. It's like I have to match the games I'm, I'm playing, to with the system. I mean, with the, the match the games that I'm playing with the system that I'm I'm buying, and it's like, what would be the point of that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It it feels like it feels like you have you have to spend more money to enjoy the game. Like I would have to buy like the latest phone to play a game that I can play like, like now on my computer or on like an Android and just like emulate it or something yeah. like that. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather invest $600 on a system that'll last me five to 10 years and then buy a game every month. And that's it. I don't have to buy a phone every freaking year just because I mm-hmm. want to play certain games. Mm-hmm. What if you had that, you lived in New York, right? You yeah. had that hour and a half hour train ride every day. Having that phone, having that game on that phone. I mean, that's oh, why the Vita was I'm not, I'm as not popular saying, as it was I'm not when it first came it's out. A, I'm not saying it's, it's a bad idea. I'm just saying it's not viable for everybody, though. Because for me, like, my option would just be, like, I, I, I shut off the world. I keep, <clears throat> excuse me. I just shut off the world and I keep my headphones on and I just listen to my music. That's all I do when I, on my train ride. And people find yeah, their ways of like, dealing with that. If it is but, just going to be a, a yeah, streaming but you, thing, uh, being on the ground on the fucking subway, if that's... Uh, that's not gonna work no, out. That's very true too. Oh, that's true. That well, I don't know how. I don't, I don't it's have been a while since you lived in New York, huh? It's been a minute. So no, I know they, they have, have Wi-Fi, but the thing is that it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I have no car. It works anymore. Between, like, the stops. But still, yeah. but like, okay, like again, for me, I like playing a lot of games when I when I taking a bath, taking a shit, taking a whatever. I, I yeah. 
Yeah, I think a nice bubble bath, like a oh, and then I, right. I play video games. <laughs> <laughs> so I, if I, I can really play something, I have to. <laughs> you, you don't want to imagine Danny in the bathtub playing with himself? <laughs> exactly. I'm in the bathtub playing with myself, so it's fine. <laughs> Listen, I tuned down <laughs> Kate back. On his phone, and then, like, a lot of people – and, again, I still think, though, obviously there's a market where there are millions of people buying new phones every year regardless. They like the new iPhone. So if, they, if a lot of them are gamers, you know, maybe not every game. But, I mean, again, even if you have iPhone 9 and you stick with it for the next 10 fucking years, your iPhone 9 is going to be play, be able to play Band of Gazzurri. And then chance of going to be able to play the Gears of War series. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to play a next gen, but these phones are strong enough to play. Uh, like um, Kevin said, you know, he's seen it on 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 um, whatever he said, <laughs> the, the platform he said that he, oh, no, no, on, on Steam. Steam. Every every yeah, every... Steam. Steam. <laughs> I'm saying he's seen it on Steam, so it, I mean, the, it is a proven method. And here's my another point I was going to say before: Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, they're all in the same fucking warehouse. They original ideas don't really this vault shit that's happening they're all gonna lock up their games they're all coming out with the same idea maybe they saw steam do it and they go oh, shit i, do it I too. believe you with that yeah i agree with that i agree with that one i mean there isn't a lot of things that come out that they don't know about in the works they they all work they don't work with each other but they all keep tabs on what everybody else is doing and they go okay let's see if we can do it better or similar you know and this is just another proven thing that PlayStation is going to end up doing too. Lock all these freaking games up to preserve it. That's what they're going to call it. Preserve it, re-release it in a new platform, whether it be phone or just remaster, whatever, and we're going to buy it. You know, at the end of the day, you talk about it, but, you know, you might want to play Benigazui one day because you miss it and you can't, you don't have your N64 anymore. So you're going to bust it out on the phone and have fun. <laughs> I mean, I did that for Final Fantasy VII. I think, VII. I think, when, I think before if, like, Final Fantasy VII, I busted that out. And I, played, I, mean, I beat that game before the I remake could, came out. I could imagine, too, like, if it was, like, a monthly subscription thing, that's, I think, I feel like that's even more money instead of, like, you picking the games out you, you want. Because I could picture them selling these games for, like, maybe five, ten bucks, and then you could just stream it whenever you want. But then they would also go the subscription route and just have you subscribe monthly, and you could download all these games and play these games whenever you want. I think that's what they're doing Come now. On. But it, like I, I said, it's experimental. I can see them doing that. Mm-hmm. It's it's a way to keep you uh, have a subscription on. Yeah, yeah. Like get your, your money every of, month. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, because they want you to keep signing. I mean, it's what Netflix. That's what Disney does. Is that's what HBO is doing right now. HBO is a good point. HBO is having a, a good movie every week because they want you to keep your subscription for another month and then another month and another month, and they can make money. Yeah. yeah, that's like um, that's like PlayStation um, uh, subscription with they incentivize you by keeping it by just giving you free games for the month. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's always a way. It's always a way to make uh, make money. I don't yeah. know what uh, Nintendo. Which one is Nintendo? The SNES, right? To let you play uh, Nintendo SNES and games. Super Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo, right. It lets you play them for free. So it's always yeah. it's always it's a good idea, and it's not like something new and innovative that they're all doing. We've known about them. Uh, about these vote uh, tactics and re-releasing games and you know like the the way that the way that the the shady business works because it's not always it's not always the best thing but it's yeah. it's sometimes shady and like I, it we I guess after after a certain point we're gonna be used to it like oh they're gonna they're gonna vote the game and then they're gonna re-release it and and blah 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 they'll probably re-release it listen like, Sony they I need want to... will... oh go ahead I would really like like personally I would like it if not just release it and just over okay, here it is at your all horrible state like you remembered or don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> I would like it if they just remastered it every time. If they re-release, at least try to remaster it. So at least it gives you mm-hmm. something to oh this looks better, this looks great. Like Soccer Frontier is coming out. So just to just to be on par that with whatever super generation. On that. Yeah, exactly. And just yeah. to say that you did something different or you did something to it. Yeah, and it's kind of like Disney did the same thing when they re-released them. They released them. To look pretty, to be widescreen, or to be, you know, recolored, whatever it is. It wasn't just here's the, the movie back again, and they think they need to go that same route because you do want to play it. And sometimes when you watch or play old things that you remember as a kid, they don't 
meet your expectations, and you go, fuck, why did I ever play this game? So if you remaster it, redo it a little bit, you go, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, mm-hmm. some people, some people could just be put off by the graphics alone, and they don't even want to play it anymore. I remember, I yeah. remember, I, I jumped on Tenchu because I missed the game so much. And oh, it was just see? so Me hideous too. looking. Oh, yeah, me and you did that, remember? Yeah, yeah. We came over here. That was it. bad. <laughs> we couldn't even look at that. Like, it was just black, and you look up. It was the worst looking game <laughs> ever. But we loved it. We spent half an hour trying to kill one guy, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So we're going to move on to the next article. We got 30 minutes uh, on this first article.